governor's race has been a contentious one filled with attack ads and mudslinging. Well, this afternoon, all these candidates took part in a forum hosted by the Nebraska Bankers Association in La Vista. KETV Newswatch 7's Michelle Bandura listened in, and she joins us live in the newsroom. Michelle. Well, Julie Robb, five candidates attended the forum. Republicans Teresa Thibodeau, Charles Herbster, Brett Lindstrom, Brayland Ridenauer, and Democrat Carol Blood. The Bankers Association wanted the candidates to talk about what they've learned about Nebraska while campaigning and why they should be governor. I'm for growing Nebraska. We say, how do we keep 30, 30 to, to 45 year olds, right? Around in that generation, we're losing population like we're going out of style. How do we keep these people here? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm part of that generation and I know firsthand what we can do. I work every day like it all depends on me and I pray every day like it all depends upon the Lord. We're in trouble in America because we've lost our moral compass, period. That's why we're in trouble. We've taken prayer out of the schools, we've taken prayer out of the boardrooms, and we've taken prayer out of the church. Nebraskans aren't collateral damage. We need a plan that sets our goals for the state and a budget that mirrors those goals. I should be your next governor because I am a pragmatic problem solver who has had success at both the state and local level, and I truly understand how government works at all levels. We can't grow fast enough organically, and so we're gonna to have to make sure that we're setting the right tone, setting the right message, uh, part of this is that whole perception Nebraska is not for everyone is not necessarily the first step that we want to move uh, forward on and how we promote Nebraska. And so we're up to the task. We're up to the challenge. I'm excited to uh, run through the finish line here on, on uh, May 10th. I am also the only candidate that realizes this election is not about me. It's not about any one person. This election is about the citizens of our great state and how we can empower you to build your businesses, to succeed, and that we can leave an even better life to our next generation. And Republican candidate Jim Pillen was supposed to join the forum through Zoom, but there were technical issues.